Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. I have in my hand my Sprint Evo 4G, and starting on Tuesday, the official Froyo Android 2.2 update is rolling out over the air. However, this weekend, uh, HTC or put up on their website, probably for testing, and some people grabbed it. Now, HTC has tweeted that this is not the official update, and wait until the rollout occurs uh, on Tuesday. However, we're not one to sit around, so we put it on there. So now I have this device. It is now running Froyo, and I'm going to link you to the Android Central post where Phil went into much more detail than I'm going to about what is included. I'll just kind of browse you through, I'll take you through a few of the things that stand out to me on the device, and then I recommend you check out his article as well. So one of the first things you'll see, if you tap the applications, is app sharing. We tap on this, and it should populate with a list of apps, and I believe these are just the free apps, and it lets you share them. Kind of harking back to the days of Palm when we used to beam applications back and forth to each other. Now, let's see, I'm looking through here, that's free, yes. Now, it doesn't have all the free ones because some of these are paid apps. So it must, uh, it must ask you to pay for it once you get to the other side. So let's just take something like a gadget. If we are going to tap it, and then we ha it says, how do we want to share it? Right? Bluetooth, bug me, I mean, many different ways to share apps. So that's one thing is app sharing. Another application. We jump down here, as you can see, I, I have quite a bit loaded. Is flashlight. We now have a flashlight on the Evo 4G. So there you go. If I tap it once, it turns on one light. Tap it twice. There you go. Both lights are on. You can also uh, tap on menu, and you have SOS. Flash SOS there. You also can turn that off. You can go to auto flash or it will just randomly flash and strobe. That might be a nice feature to, uh, if your device is missing in the dark, to have the auto flash on. A flashlight I found on other uh, devices, particularly, particularly the E73 mode, has uh, been very helpful. So a uh, flashlight is pretty cool. You also will see in the list that Phil has a bunch of other things that are updated as far as the services go, uh, integration of services, um, there's some new widgets. I'll show you one. Calculator is a new widget. And this one here is an Android Market widget. So if we tap on here, we can see widgets. And there's a ton of them in there, but some of the new ones are Calculator, uh, FM Radio. So you can see there's some new interfaces for the FM Radio. Uh, message List View, Profile Settings, Ringtone Settings. Uh, the Camcorder can now use Flash. Uh, so that you can have a flash on while you are a flashlight. So while you are shooting video, you can have some flash on there. Um, there's some password support that's been updated. Alarm volumes. Um, the Android Market. Let's see if it's different here. Hmm, it looks about the same. I know before I'd seen a difference in the Android Market um, after the update, but I guess it said 2.1, so... Maybe that's not the case. However, it does support, of course, um, we go into settings. And if we look at the apps, and here are the manage apps, it has changed significantly because now you see there's a downloaded, running, all on SD card. So if you're in an app and you say you tapped on it, you'd see the details where it does have, uh, this is application specific. Oh, see, abduction lets you move to SD card. So I could tap that and move it to the SD card. Not all the apps have uh, enabled that yet. So I'll have to go through and see what apps and which ones I can move to the SD card to save a little bit of space. Because I do run out of space on this device, actually, from time to time. Another thing that's part of Foyo is uh, wireless tether. However, the Evo already had that through Sprint, and there's no changes. So we go down here to the uh, oops, Sprint hotspot settings. You tap on those, it does the same thing as what it has always done. So there's no uh, Android 2.2 specific settings that's going to give you a free Wi-Fi or anything else like that. It's the same um, Sprint hotspot settings as we had before, just to let you know. 
All right, so that's uh, that's it. I mean, there's there's some speed increases. There's some things that I like personally is uh, the ability to tap and switch your uh, Gmail accounts really easily. Um, speed increases throughout. I didn't see anything majorly different in the camera at all. I was kind of hoping for panoramic or some other uh, improvements there. Um, that's about it, though. You know, it, it's a speed increase, and it adds uh, there's quite a list of, of functions and features. Um, and hopefully maybe some battery life improvements as well. But one thing that comes along with it, right, is support for, and it's uh, not in beta anymore either, it's Adobe Flash 10, right? So let's go back to my game. Now I was playing Plants and Zombies and I paused it. Now it may have, oh, there we go. Okay, so here we are at the PopCap Games website, one of my favorite websites, and I'm playing Plants vs. Zombies in Flash in the browser and as you can see on this large screen it's actually a, a playable game so I'm going to go back to the game and play it for a minute here as you can see it let me zoom in a little bit as you can see the sun's some reason when I tap those don't always come through. Plant a seed here. I don't know if you ever played this on the iPhone. I have it on my iPad. It's actually a pretty fun game. Oh. One of those kinds that's addicting, you know, silly but addicting. Looks like if I tap the sun below the sun, I'm able to do a little better about actually tapping it. But as you can see, this is uh, in the browser. I'm playing Plants vs. Zombies, so it's it's a no-cost game. Try to zoom in so you can see better. There we go. So what your object is to set up the plants as a defensive maneuver in different places so the zombies get taken out. And more and more zombies come. You have different plants, they want me to... Ah. Nice sound effects hitting the zombies, huh? A little, uh, I can, uh, I'm going to tend to blow up these zombies, so let me tap on the cherries. This should blow up all the zombies in the area. There we go. Here's the final wave, so you can see what's going on here. As you can see, it's playing quite well on the uh, in the Evo 3 4G, even with uh, just doing Flash in the uh, in the browser. And this is just the standard browser. But Flash 10.1 is supported. Flash Mobile 10.1. All right, let me just pause the game. So that is a quick look at the Evo 4G with the. Froyo 2.2 update that everybody should be getting. Well, it'll start rolling out next week, and then um, through the month of August, we'll see this rolled out. And um, plan on using this device even more to find out what else we see improved on the Evo 4G. Thanks for watching.